Hello, my name is Harriet Lone, and today we're going to discuss wound cleansing and irrigation. The disclosures include holding a partial patent on the Davol Pulse Lavage with Suction Flexible Tip, and I am also on the Winchester Labs Advisory Board. Our objectives include knowing the efficacious and safe impact PSI, or pounds per square inch, for cleansing and irrigating wounds, to be able to choose the optimal methods for irrigating non-complex and complex wounds, to be aware of and avoid cytotoxic irrigants and antiseptics, and to recognize and follow infection prevention protocols. The first documentation of the importance of wound cleansing and irrigation was in World War I by Dr. Staken and Carroll. They discovered the importance of irrigation to optimize healing and decrease the infection potential. What they discussed was that all necrotic tissue, exudate, and debris should be removed. And indeed, those are our goals for irrigation and wound cleansing today. We know we have to remove the debris. We have to decrease the necrotic tissue. It thereby reduces our bacterial count. It reduces the drainage in the wound. And of course, it assists us in assessing our wounds and prepares the wounds for cultures when we have to take them. As for frequency, all wounds should be cleansed and irrigated initially and with each dressing change unless otherwise contraindicated. And it is especially important to irrigate well each wound before taking a swab culture and or a biopsy. There are many methods of irrigation and cleansing for wounds. Among them are spray bottles, which are not efficacious, nor are bulb syringes. There are saline squeeze bottles with caps. Water pick, which is safe only at a low setting. A spray can. 35 milliliter syringe with a 19 gauge needle or an angiocath, which has been used for many years. A whirlpool, which was used for years before more optimal interventions were developed and should now rarely be used. And optimal interventions currently are disposable vials, pulse lavage with suction, and low-frequency non-contact ultrasound. And we